Yeah, here is using matrices for solving the equations. So, first step what we are going to do is we are going to list the variables R y f 1 f 2 u 1 u 2 right these are the variables. Now, we are going to list so variables go this way then we are going to list the equations going down like this. So, I want to make sure that so the equations are going to go down like this variables are going to go down like that. Okay. <coughs> so, we have 5 equations. So, one, so notice 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equations, 5 variables. So, the first one says uh, is the equations of equilibrium. So, I am going to write that down and the way I am going to do that is I am going to look at the equations there f 1 plus f 2 plus r y minus 3000 equal to 0. So, notice that this one has coefficient 1, 1, 1, no, no u 1, no u 2. Okay. So, what we are going to do is I am going to write it up like this 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, equals 3000. Uh, I am just going to put equal 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, remember what it says 1 R y plus 1 F 1 plus 1 F 2 plus 0 U 1 plus 0 U 2 equal to 3000. The next one says there is no R y. It says 1 F 1 um, plus 3 F 2 nothing here nothing here equals 12,000 sorry 6,000 where did I get that let us make sure we know what we are talking about here look this one 1 F 1 plus 3 F 2 equal to 6,000 the next equation we are going to look at is 3 u 1 plus u 2 sorry minus u 2 equal to 0. You can see that right. So, let us do the third equation sorry I, I wrote the equations in the wrong spot, but you get what I mean right. So, no r 1 no r no f 1 no f 2 3 u 1 minus 1 u 2 equal to 0. The last equation says see now I am not even going to try and solve, I am just going to directly use this u1 equal to f1 l1 over ea1, u2 equal to f2 l2 over ea2. I am going to use that directly. that happen? Where did it go? Hmm? Oh. Maybe it is here. Okay. The last equation is going to be the two the last two equations are going to be the equations for u1 and u2 so i'm going to put minus f1 minus l1 so u1 you got to figure this one out 0 equal to 0 i'll tell you what i'm writing there's no ry so that's 0 f1 so the coefficient of f1 is l1 so, I am going to go up here so that is equal to 
F1 L1 over E A1. So I'm going to do L over E A there. I'm kind of moving around, but that's because I kind of zoomed quite a bit out. What the heck happened again? Ah, here it is. Okay, this is equal to L1 is 3000 divided by E is 210123 divided by A is 12.57 and then I got 00 F2 equals the same thing 0 minus 1 equal to 0 So the last two equations so not minus one. Yeah. Says F1 L1 over EA1 minus U1 equal to 0. F2 L2 over EA2 minus U2 equal to 0. So now what all I have to do in principle is this. Sorry. All I have to do in principle is I have an equation which looks like m times x equal to y so I have to do x equals m inverse times y the way to do that we know we have 5 equations and 5 unknowns so I am going to make a list so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so I got 5 things I am going to say equals m mult you know what that is right matrix multiply the inverse of this m inverse of this whole matrix comma and then I am going to do this one now comes the main trick if you do enter you will get nonsense or at least you will get only one equation what you have to do is control shift enter control shift enter Ta -da! so I got this is ry so let me write it uh, let me type it up here this is ry this is f1 this is f2 this is uh, u1 and this is u2 my answer is slightly different from the, uh, the answer I got because this is not exactly right it is not 12.57 let us make sure what the actual number was the area was something else slightly the area is 12.56637 so let us fix that now you will get the same answer as before so the point is so you might wonder so what's the big deal why did we do it by matrix multiplication because you know for the problem that we looked at it was trivial so it was easy but when you actually try and do this for a more complicated case you have to do matrix multiplication so I just showed you how to set it up setting up the matrix is the trick that's what you get paid for not for solving but to know how to set it up so I want you to understand uh, take a look at it go over the calculation and make sure you understand especially the last two elements in the row for the matrix because that's really tricky okay so please take a look once you have the idea you can you can really do this by yourself and it doesn't have to be excel you can do matlab you can do maple you can do whatever you like mathcad whatever you like but this is the standard way okay thank you very much